it open shut it open and shut it open and shut it how are you are we all in who will shut the door for us you have said open the door they enter then you shut the door after everybody has entered inside the class it's your teacher annunciator welcome to easy Elimo. learning simplified still on number pattern teacher number pattern again yes we have not done enough practice on this number pattern. And I think the more we practice, the more we get it clearly, the more we become even more and more perfect. So you can find out from the board. Now, where are we heading to? We have done the counting forward. We are now on the counting backward. Look at our numbers. And the teacher has just entered the class and given you a question and says now, fill in the missing numbers, fill in the missing numbers what is the rule number one we said first of all identify which pattern are we doing are we counting in twos are we counting in ones are we counting in tens in fives which pattern are we doing then from there you'll be able to understand how to go about it so for example mine starts with 20 but i'm counting is it forward or backward backward so which one is the next number after 20 the number before 20 is 18 very good so we have 20 18 16 then after that 14 then we have 12 12 which number comes before after before 12 before 12 we have a number 10 then before 10 we have 8 and before 8 we have 6 then before 6 we have a 4 and before 4 we have a to up to there who has not gotten exactly what you're supposed to be doing in that number pattern good now we are on the on another one where they're saying you fill in another rule again what are we supposed to do what will help us understand what is this pattern we're doing teacher they all they end with a five and a zero so what is the where, where, what number are we using here are we counting we are reducing by five so 8 reduced by 5, you get a 75. 75, then after that we have a 70, then after 70 we have 65, then before 65 we have a 60. When we reduce 60 by 5, what do we get? When we reduce 60 by 5, we get a 50. Five. Very good. Yes, Janet. When you reduce 55 by 5, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. Now we are reducing 50 by 5. We go 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. So the missing number here is 5. Then we go. When you reduce 45 by 5, you get a 40. 40 reduced by 5, you get a 35. 35 you reduce by 5, you get a 30. And 30 when you reduce by 5, you'll get a 25. What about a 20? When you reduce 20 by 5, we go 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. And that is how you think you get your missing numbers. So we have done enough practice on patterns. So during your home time, this is the work you're going to do at home. I want people to fill in the missing numbers. For example, I have this one for a number line. Then I have this one for a rectangle. So, when you're at home during your own free time, you want people to practice these two patterns. And you can even come up with patterns of your own. Do more practice. Use different numbers. Not necessarily what I've used. You can also get a number of your own, numbers of your own, and do 
a very nice box and finish the pattern. And of course, with that practice, I believe nobody, I believe nobody will have any problem when it comes to number pattern. Or, or is there a problem that someone needs to address to be addressed as quick as possible so that when you move on to the next topic, we don't have a problem with the previous work we have covered. Is that okay? Very good, and I wish you all the best as you continue learning these lessons. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next lesson.